type next to move to the next scene. Buddy the Elf. This is my favorite um, reaction gif. Buddy the Elf lights all the buttons. <laughs> the Death Star explodes. Huge if true. This is too easy, dude. Come on. Song scenes and movies. That one's for, for infants. Keep calm and go to the movies. Can you name the film that inspired... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Chibli, this one's for you. I bet you got a few of these hanging up in your room, okay? Keep calm and use the force. I'm going to say that one's from Star Wars. Keep calm and drive... <laughs> I give... <laughs> You know the John Waters quote that's like, ladies, if you go to a man's house and he has no books, don't fuck him. If you go to a man's house and he has this poster on his wall, abide by the words of the immortal John Waters, okay? This is Back to the Future. This would be Peter Pan. This shit is fucking horrendous. Obviously, this is The Hunger Games. Anybody who owns this poster needs to answer for their crimes immediately. Keep calm and... Josh might have this poster, so I'm going to bite my tongue, okay? Keep calm and disobey. It's V for Vendetta. Keep calm and roll out. Oh, my God. It's the most bad chestable quiz of all time. Keep calm and find Bubba. Nobody's got that. Okay, it's the Lion King. Keep calm and Hakuna Matata. Keep calm and find a bigger boat. Keep calm and wax on. This is actually doing spiritual damage to me. This is Mary Poppins. These are like what every tourism driven city you visit has a store that sells this shit on its t-shirts. Whether you go to Vancouver, Ketchikan, Alaska, London, England, Singapore, there's going to be one place that's going to be called, like, the name of the country, Delight. You walk in, there's going to be, yeah, I'm into fitness, fitting this pizza in my mouth in Manila, comma, Philippines. You know, like, this is obviously Jerry Maguire. What is even the... <laughs> so bad. What is the, what's the joke? Keep calm and phone home? Like, what's the joke? This shit is the jungle book. Keep calm and wait for the kick. It's Inception. Keep calm and say, me. I gotta go home. This is uh, the Holy Grail, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Keep calm and carry a watermelon. It's dirty dancing. I only know that because of the last quiz. Keep calm and play it, Sam. Nobody owns this poster, okay? Nobody owns a Keep Calm and Casablanca poster. It's Top Gun. Keep calm and stay clean. Oh my God, dude. It's absolutely horrendous. It's the wizard. Of Oz. Anytime life gets hard, my boss has been running me ragged, my email inbox is overstuffed, I got too many deliverables, I just look at my keep calm and click three times poster and it, you know, I take a deep breath and I return to the present and it centers me. Keep calm and expecto patronum. I'm going to guess that's a Harry Potter thing. Keep calm and turn it up to 11. I hate it, but I kind of love it because I hate it. Okay, here, we can do this. This is tough. Is this Toy Story 2 or 3? This is Toy Story 2. I just watched it. <laughs> this is Matrix Reloaded. This is red. Never mind. This is a good day to die hard. Lucky guess. This is Pirates. This is not the same movie. I'm going to say this is the world's end. Wrong. Wrong. That's Iron Man 2. In Iron Man 2, he spends a lot of time getting drunk. What? Maybe I got confused there. That's apparently as Iron Man 3. 
That's the Karate Kid part three. Wrong. <laughs> this is, um, I'm pretty sure this is Meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers is where they meet uh, Ben Stiller's <laughs> parents, played by Barbara Streisand and, uh, and Dustin Hoffman. This is one of the Bourne movies. I'm going to say this is the last one, The Ultimatum. Wrong. This is... Um, this looks like The Naked Gun 33 and a third. This is Spider-Man 3. Thank you, thank you. This would be... This is Rush Hour 2. Come on. Because he ain't going to be in Rush Hour 3. This is The Mighty Ducks 2. They're playing in the international tournament. I'm going to say this is Scream 2. Wrong. Parker Posey, she's been around forever, man. This looks like Shrek Forever After to me. I haven't seen any of them except the first one. This is The Hangover um, 3. Because in 2, they went to Thailand. So I'm going to guess in 3, they like went back to Las Vegas. They ran it back. This is Twilight. This must be Eclipse. Must oh, wrong. What a poster, dude. This is Mission Impossible 3. By the way, me and who? I'm trying to get... <laughs> I'm trying to get what he has, okay? It's Mission Impossible 3. This is the Transporter 2. Wrong, it's the Transporter 3. This is Resident Evil. This one's Apocalypse for sure. This is, oh man, it's, that's X3, the last thing. <laughs> like, that's, that's moments away from we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For all men who spill blood with me this day, ah, oh, my brother, may they ne'er be so vile, but battle gentle their condition. This is Blade 3. Look at the costume design on this fucker. Like, they really just gave up on Ryan Reynolds, huh? Like, what is he wearing? What is that? It was he's wearing like a garbage bag you would put leaves in after you raked them up. He's got a big E on his shirt. Like, what? The, yes, okay, Blade 3 is the movie where he refused to open his eyes in one scene. So they had the CGI open eyes on him. It's not for the whole movie. It's just for one scene, okay? It's still pretty bad. <laughs> yes, Wesley Snipes refused to open his eyes for one scene. So they shot the scene and then CGI'd open eyes on him. With eyes wide open. That's Austin Powers 2, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Is that Saw 5 or Saw 6? It's hard to tell because... <laughs> uh, Ah, they're both so different. I'm going to say that's Saw 5. Wrong. That's Saw 6. This is Transformers 2. Revenge of the, the Revenge of the Fallen. That's tough, man. Remember when everyone was wearing shirts like this? No offense if you're still wearing shirts like this. But what is this? It's got a 6. It's got like a little moon over here. Flipped films. Yeah, I think I could probably get that one. 2013 movie slideshow? I don't know, man. This shit is actually just a, an ad for, like, a skincare product. This is Star Trek Into Darkness. This is The Wolverine. Not to be confused with X-Men Origins Wolverine or Logan. This is Identity Theft. Is not a joke, Jim. Identity Thief? Identity Thief. This is the damn crudes, <laughs> I guess. It's 42. This is Iron Man 3. This is the fate of the furious. This is the fast and the furious. This is fast and furious. This is fast and the furious. This is fast and... Five. This is Fast Six. Okay, it's Fast Six. Sorry. This is Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Man of Heart. This is Monsters U. University. This is The Heat. Not to be confused with Heat. 
This will be Minions 1. This is Despicable Me 3. Despicable Me 2. This is um, The Lone Ranger. Wish we could take that one back. This is We're the Millers. The At World's End. The World's End. Gravity. That shot looks like garbage. That I don't think that movie is that bad, though. I know the it was loved when it came out, and it's not like that much now. I like it. This is 12 Years a Slave. This would be Thor 2, The Dark World. Shit is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. I don't know why I had to be so specific. This would be Frozen 1. The Hobbit. Battle of the Five Armies, The Hobbit, fucking Smogs, Revenge, <laughs> The Desolation, The Ho Smog and the de Desolation Thereof. There we go. This is American Hustle. American Hustle by David O. Russell. American on Hustle by David O. Russell. This is Anchorman 2. The Wolf of Wall Street. I know this one. I know this one. The Dallas Buyers Club. He's crazy. Too easy. Four Jennifer's movie slideshow. I guess we're doing two hours straight of movie quizzes. Can you name the Jennifer? This is too easy, dude. I'm not doing this. Yes, I know that's Jennifer Lawrence. You think I know this silver lining, linings playbook? That's Braveheart. Okay, we got to bail on this. This is too easy, man. You think I don't know Lord of the Rings Return of the King? Movie marquee. Oh, how about this? Progressively harder movie posters. We jars. The Incredibles. I guess that is slightly harder. This should be The Hangover. This should be Jurnar. It's the 30 year old Virgil. It's Doomin Doomer. Oh my god, it's Murray Purpers. It's the Wedding Crashers. It's American Pie. As an airplane. Are they getting progressively harder? As Star Trek? That's got to be one of the worst posters of all time. This one, on the other hand, that's good. Help! Help! How did I... Bill Murray bemused, stuck in a clock? I'd love to help you, Andy McDowell, but I'm <laughs> kind of stuck in the clock right now. It's Groundhog Day. Anyway, um, this shit is Shutter Island. It's Rain Man. They're, they don't seem to be getting that hard. It's breakfast at Tiffany's. As District 9 seems to still be pretty easy. This would be Crouch. This has got to be one of the easiest ones of all time. Schindler's List. That shit is Wall Street. Okay, maybe they're getting a little harder. I'm kind of taking my words back. As Memento, no, they're getting easier. This is JFK. This is Moonstruck. All right, fuck you. It's Cool Hand Luke. I give up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that dude's smoking a damn dollar bill. It's a felony. This is Boys Don't Cry. The Sting, of course. What a difficulty spike. But it's, no, I, I'm not. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Guess that scene. 
Each column contains four movie scenes, with each scene appearing after you've correctly guessed the previous one. Once you've guessed all the scenes from a column, you must guess the common bond between them. Type in go to begin. Go. Okay, that's Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's stop. Okay, they all have Harrison Ford. It's Blade Runner. That's the Fugitive. Harrison Ford. That's um, Gold Finger. He's the man with the Midas touch. It's Casino Royale. I think I got this one. This is um, Golden Eye. This is Moonraker. The, they, James James Bond. Can I get the next one? Column two, Common Bond. James Bond. That's Dracula. That's Blade. I think I got this one figured out too. This is um, From Dusk Till Dawn. And this is Let the Right One In. The common bond is vampires. This is a major league. That's Bull Durham. Field of Dreams. This is a tough one. The Natural. Baseball. Taxi Driver. Film starring Robert De Niro. Uh, this is Hugo. Movies directed by Martin Scorsese. The Departed. Last, the Last Temptation of Christ. We learned something today. Scorsese. Please repeat the last word. What are Christopher Nolan movies? This is Memento. Uh, did Christopher Nolan do 50 First Dates? Or am I? <laughs> movies with, uh, with memory loss. The Born Identity. Mulholland Drive. Amnesia. Yo, why is my chair so wheely today? It's like there's been something lodged in the wheels for like 10 years. It feels so good. Holy cow. Can you name the director based on the image below? What do you mean based on the image? That's Woody Allen. It's not based on anything. It's just literally the guy. Okay, well, I'm done with the movie quizzes. Based on the picture below? Yeah, I would say that's, that's Woody Allen. Based on the fact that it's a picture of Woody Allen, I'm going to say Woody Allen. Anyway, those were good. That was fun. How about we do some quizzes that make me look stupid instead? <clears throat> I can do this. 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 Ready? You only have to name one. Can you name one of the European founding member nations of NATO? France. Can you name nine English monarchs from the House of York and the House of Tudor? I got to go fast. Hold on. Democrat, seven wonders of the ancient world, pyramids, six wives of Henry VIII, Anne Boleyn, five D-Day beaches, Juno, four assassinated U.S. presidents, McKinley, three Yalta leaders, Stalin, two scientists who discovered DNA, Crick. One painter of the Mona Lisa, Da Vinci. Nine English monarchs from the House of York and the House of Tudor. Edward, the seventh. <laughs> oh, fuck you, England. I got your ass. Canada stays winning. I was going to say Henry III, too. That would have been embarrassing. 
You got to be too fast on these. Oh, I've, I've done every single one surrounding this, though. What the heck? What about Elizabeth I? Yo, show some respect. Top trending today. Curator's picks. Real or fake? Metroid enemies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that. Get the picture. Can you choose the tennis player who was born after the 1st of January 2000 that this fact applies to? Nope. No, I cannot. Is this a Mega Evolution or a Gigantamax? Nope, not going to do that one either. BTS Butter Lyrics. How about Smooth Like Butter? I know that one. I believe they also say talk is cheap. They might say, let it, let it go, something like that at the end, you know. I'll find something. I'm just looking for something that's not Premier League Dutchman. Over under Guinness World Records. Incredible suggestion. Over under. Over under Guinness. <clears throat> okay. They better not be like off by one, dude. I'll be upset, okay? I'll be upset. Number of straws stuffed in a mouth, hands off. There's no way someone put more than 500 straws in their mouth. I'm going under. 400. That sounds way more reasonable. Forward rolls in one minute. One somersault per second. I'm going over. I bet someone could get like 78. Cloth pegs clipped to the face in a minute. I'm going to say 78 again. I'm going over. People gathered dressed as Smurfs. 5,000. I'm going under. I don't think you could get that many people to do something. That's stupid. Toilet seats broken by the head in one minute. This has got to be under for that guy's brain's sake. Yeah, thank God. He only broke 46. Can drinks open in a minute by a parrot? 12. I'm going to take the slight over. Age of oldest base jumper? 90. I'm taking the over. People gathered dressed as Superman? I'm taking the over. There's more Smurfs than Superman? Minutes to travel a mile in a sack race. 12. Dude, I don't even want to know what your abs feel like after a mile in a sack race. 12 minutes? That's pretty fast for a sack race, dude. I'm going to take the... I'm going to say the real answer is that they took longer. 16 minutes. Centimeters of the narrowest street, 50. I'm taking the under here. Collection of Star Wars memorabilia, 25,000 items. Let me scroll for a second so you can still see. Let me take the under. 92,000? Dri divers holding hands underwater, 50. Let me get the under. Pubs visited by one person. Let me take the over. <laughs> seconds of balancing on four fingers. 12 seconds of balancing on four fingers. I got to take the under, man. Wow. Big Max eaten by one person in a lifetime. I'll take the over. I've seen Super Size Me. Collection of Pokemon memorabilia. 25,000. I'll take the under again. Hours spent controlling a soccer or football. I'll take the over. That seems like an easy one to go 24 hours. Seconds to drink a liter of lemon juice with a straw, 30. I mean, I honestly think someone could do that in like five seconds. Albino kids born to one couple. Let's go take the over. Knives thrown around the human target in a minute, 60. I got to take the under for sure. What? I did beat the average, but I'm kind of feeling like... Uh, feeling like I, that was tough, man. I'm not average. I beat the average. I'm above average.
I just feel like like the lemon juice, I, I get that it's lemon juice. I'm still surprised it took 54 seconds. I feel like that would mess your stomach up really bad, but like, I still feel like you could just do it. Like, couldn't you just like plug your nose and then do it? I mean, I had to drink f like four gallons of that uh, colonoscopy liquid. I think I, that's a record of all the records on this. I honestly think drinking the liter of lemon juice and breaking the world record would be better for you than visiting 46,000 pubs. Star Wars planet or Canadian National Park? Guay Hanas, that's a Canadian National Park. Jakku, that's a Star Wars planet. Lamu, sounds like Star Wars to me. Yoho, National Park. Akto, Star Wars. Maigito. Saying national park. Kejimakujik is a national park. Polis Masa, Star Wars. Coruscant, Star Wars. Kato Naimoidia. Everything in my brain says Star Wars, so I'm going to take national park. <laughs> this has got to be in Nunavut. This is a national park. National park. Star Wars. Nahani, Star Wars. Vuntut. That sounds like a national park. Dagobah. Oh, you mean uh, 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 Calgary? That's Star Wars. Taco Donna? I'm going Star Wars. Nazi Cho? Let me get National Park. Sir Milik? Let me go National Park. Forillon? Star Wars. Beat the average. Beat the average! Muhammad Ali or Captain Kirk? I feel like I could probably do that one. You've got a 50-50 chance. Who's worth more? Can you name the wealthier of the two celebrities? Who's worth more? Eisenberg or Sarah? Eisenberg's got that superhero money. He was in DC Films. Eisenberg. Wrong. Kira Knightley or Rachel McAdams? She's got to have pirates residuals. Kira Knightley. Brad Pitt or Ed Norton? It's got to be Brad Pitt. Joe Biden or Dick Cheney? Absolutely has to be Dick Cheney. There is no way Joe Biden has a $900,000 net worth. You have to check your, um, you have to check your sources on that one. <laughs> this is unfathomable. Um, Serena or Venus? That'll be Serena. Martin Sheen or Charlie Sheen? I'm going Martin Sheen based on the back of West Wing residuals. I just typed Sheen. I tried to beat the system. Martin Sheen over Charlie Sheen, 50 million. Okay, it doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Um, Mandy Moore or Demi Moore? I'm going Demi Moore, even though Mandy Moore's got that tangled money. Demi Moore, Lady Gaga or Beyonce? Let me get Beyonce. Mike Myers or Eddie Murphy? I, oh, I was going to say Eddie Murphy's got that Shrek money. But then I realized how stupid that sounds. I'm going Mike Myers. Rupert Grint or Daniel Radcliffe? No disrespect. I know that Daniel Radcliffe didn't do that. Like he kind of semi-retired a little. But didn't Rupert Grint as well? I feel like Rupert Grint, despite being in the cabinet of curiosities, has not been in the... He hasn't been doing that much stuff either. So I'm going Radcliffe. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? I'm taking, oh, it's tough. You'd think LeBron James just due to the era in which he did it. But Michael Jordan's got like 30 years of compounding endorsement money. Let me get Michael Jordan. Wasn't even close. Bill Gates or Zuckerberg? Well, it should be Zuckerberg. I mean, depending on when this quiz was made. I don't buy it. I don't, listen, Mark Zuckerberg owns 55% owns of Facebook. Facebook's still worth like, you know, $220 billion or something. I think you gotta, I think you gotta run this one back. I think you gotta run it back. This quiz might be a little old. 50 Cent or Kanye? It's, it, it's gotta be Kanye. I don't, I, I think this quiz is old, honestly. Now, if this quiz was new, it might be 50 Cent again, just due to the loss of uh, equity in the Adidas brand. But J.K. Rowling or Stephanie Meyer? 
It's got to be J.K. Rowling. Molly Ringwald or Emilio Estevez? Emilio had a longer career. Ringwald was kind of like the it girl. I'm going Estevez. Hu Jintao or Kim Jong-un? I'm going Kim Jong-un. Michael Phelps or Sean Johnson? I'm going to go Michael Phelps because I don't know who Sean Johnson is. Maybe a gymnast? The Rock or Hulk Hogan? I'm going The Rock. Tim Burden or Johnny Depp? I'll go Tim Burden on this one. <laughs> I don't know. Barbara Streisand or Liza Minnelli? Let me go Streisand. She's had a number one album in seven decades. Celine Dion or Madonna? <sighs> I got to try Madonna. Seth MacFarlane or Matt Groening? I mean, The Simpsons goes insane. Seth MacFarlane, though, between Family Guy, American Dad, The Cleveland Show, Ted, Ted 2, his Netflix deal. I got to go Seth MacFarlane. Plus, he, he made his money in the 2000s instead of the 90s. I would still, I would question this. I would still question this one, honestly. When was this quiz made? U.S. or U.K.? Old or New Testament? Canada, true or false? Dead before 40? What is this shit? This is like stuff. These are like clickbait ads when you read a news article. I don't want to see this shit. Plane crash or overdose? Justin Bieber or Mohandas Gandhi? I can't. Oh, let me find another one. Two thousands movie taglines. Can you pick the movie that matches the tagline? I was kind of hoping to come up with a tagline that matched the movie. No, thank you. Over under unit conversions. These are fun. Let's yell at each other. One yard equals one meter. A yard is slightly. Less. One cup equals 250 milliliters. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> I've always used the cup is, uh, is 250 milliliters as, as my like shorthand. Maybe like 247. Okay. One hectare is six acres. So the real answer is over. Oh, never mind. A kilogram is more than two pounds an inch is more than two centimeters a kilometer is oh no this should be so easy a kilometer is a thousand meters which it is <laughs> 100,000 centimeters so a kilometer is way more than 100,000 millimeters. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. A mile is, a mile is 1.6 kilometers, which is 1,670, which is <laughs> 1,600 meters. The real answer is under. Ah, I said under, because it's not right. Okay, yeah. An ounce is 30 grams. <laughs> I think an ounce is 28. Okay. A pound is 18 ounces. Pretty sure a pound is 16 ounces. Okay. A liter is four quarts. No, like a gallon is four quarts. A liter is under. 35C equals 100F. That's a tough one, man. I'm going to say that 35C is hotter than 100F. So I'm going to say it's over. A mile equals 1,000 meters. And a mile is way more than a kilometer. A pint equals four cups. No, a pint equals two cups. A gram equals 100 milligrams. Obviously, a gram is more than that. An acre equals 50,000 square feet. No idea. I'm going to say it's under. 100 kilometers an hour 
is more than 60. It, one, it's like 60 is 90. So I got to go faster. A meter equals three feet. Meter is over. Gallon equals four liters, under. Ton equals 1,000 kilograms, over. Cubic yard equals nine cubic feet, uh, under. No! They didn't give me enough time to do the math, man. That's still pretty good. Seven wasted seconds on the clock. Over, under, math. The square root of eight... 3.5. Obviously, the square root of 8 is under that. 1 to the power of 0 is equal 0 0.5. 1 to the power of 0 is 1. 4 factorial is 24. It's under. 3 squared is 9. That's actually insulting. Sine of... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sine of 90... I think sine of 90 is 1. Cosine of 90 is 0. He's insane. It's still in there somewhere. Negative 2 squared is 4. 10 divided by half is 20. What the hell is negative three in arm bars? Can somebody just, in, in English, can you tell me what these symbols mean? The, the absolute value. Thank you. Okay, so that's over. Negative four plus four is more than negative 0 0.75. This is like a, a mobile game advertisement. Two and a half times two and a half equals five and a half. Obviously, it's more. <laughs> obviously, it's more. Negative five is less than four and a half. 29 is less than 29.5. Zero is more than negative 3.5. 10 to the zero is one. This is an under. 16 minus 19 is less than a positive number. The square root of two. is under 1.5. This would be positive 16 is over. Times half is five, is under. Negative two, negative four is less than zero. I'm insane. I'm actually, I'm, I'm cracked. I might be the, the smartest mathematician of all time. You're competent. Thank you. Thank you. That does seem like a ninth grade math quiz your teacher would give you on like the first day of class just to warm up your brain. They wouldn't, this wouldn't be like the final exam, but this would be like, welcome to high school math. We're going to teach you how to think critically. And because all of these have like a trap somewhere. Well, some of them do. Like negative and then in brackets, two to the two squared. Like that could be, that could trick some people. It could trick some people. Can you decide if the real number in each brand... I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to 11, 11, four guys, burgers, and fries. Come on. That's too easy. I like the math ones. The math ones were good. You got any more math ones for me? I love Mario 54. It's crazy because it came out on the Nintendo 64. Over, under, 1,000. Oh, dude, over, under, 100 calories. I know we've done similar quizzes before. Oh, my God, there's 56. Three strips of bacon is going to be like, I'm going to say 240 calories. Give me an over. A Guinness is going to be way over. It's actually not as much as I thought. Four spears of asparagus, give me the under. Cottage cheese, give me the over. Ooh, owned, owned, owned. Nutella, two tablespoons of Nutella, that's gonna be like 300. Instant oatmeal, 235 grams, that's gonna be over. Cadbury cream egg, that's gonna be like 190. Raw egg, that's gonna be an under, it's gonna be like 80 calories. S table salt's gonna be zero. Baked beans from Heinz, 100 grams of baked beans. Give me the over. 
Snickers. Over. Hot dog. It's going to be like another 200 and something, okay? One slice of whole wheat bread. I'm going over by like five calories. I want to see. I want to see them put it in the calorimeter. I want to see it. By the way, I'd like to pause briefly. When we were trick-or-treating, we got some chocolate bars from a house. They were giving them out. It was called like Bananica. I look it up. It's a Serbian chocolate bar, okay? My daughter says, I want this. I want this. I'm looking up the nutritional information on the back. I don't speak Serbian. So I'm trying to figure out like what the nutritional information is. The bar is about this big. It's 340 calories inside of the bar. Is that big? I actually Googled it to, to make sure that like the calorie count was right because that did not seem correct. It actually, it seems like a military ration. My man, they're amazing. I'd let her eat one, but it's like, um, it's like chocolate covered banana flavored marshmallow. Is crazy, dude. It's per hundred grams. I'll, I'll check. <laughs> One of the finest caloric intakes I've ever known. Anyway, honey. Isn't honey zero calorie? <laughs> okay. No. Oh, it doesn't go bad. That's what honey does. It doesn't go bad. <laughs> Peanut butter. That's going to be in the 200s. Water. That's going to be zero. A cheese croissant. That's going to be over. A whole lobster. Or 163 grams of lobster. Give me the over. White sugar. 15 grams of sugar should be like 60 calories. Give me the under. Ketchup, give me the under for sure. A Hostess Twinkie, give me the over. Doritos, 12 Doritos. I bet it's like 10, 10 to 15 calories a Dorito. I'm going over. Sliced avocado. Fat is calorically dense. I'm taking the over. Couscous. 106 ounces of couscous. I'm taking the over barely. Pepperoni pizza, I'm taking the over. Sh brown sugar, I'm taking the under still. One, 45 grams of raisins, I'm taking the over. White bread, I'm still taking the under. Okay. Good job on the first side. Three wrong. Big Mac. I'm probably going to take the over on that one. A six ounce steak. I'll take the over. Red wine. Three ounces of red wine. That's tough. So you got like 12% alcohol. 12 grams of alcohol at like nine calories per gram. I'm taking the over. <sighs> Baked potato with the skin. Uh, one full potato is an over. Slice of watermelon. Eight, 286 gram slice of watermelon? That's a half pound slice of watermelon? I'm still taking the under. Six ounces of white rice, I take the over. Four ounces of skinless roast turkey breast. I'm taking the over barely. Plain bagel, over. Jack, one fluid ounce of Jack Daniels should be about 200 calories. What? Oh, it's only 40% alcohol, which means there's 12 uh, ounces of alcohol, uh, 12 milliliters of alcohol, which means there's tw roughly 12 grams, which means there's roughly 70 calories. Coffee, this is zero. I hit over by accident. That one's just a, that's an unforced error. Corn on the cob. One ear of corn on the cob. Let me take the over. A Sprite. Let me take the over. Wonton soup. Let me take the under. Prunes. I take the over. Wow. 12 ounces of Gatorade. A can of Gatorade. I would take the over. 2% milk. I take the under. Wow. Olive oil, I'd probably take the over on that one. Pecan pie, let me get an over. One pancake. <laughs> one pancake. <laughs> take the under. Oh, I like them thin, though. 
One chicken breast, take the slight over. One apple, I take the under. Five ounces of strawberries, I take the under. Fun size Skittles, I take the under. Cup of grape juice, take the over. Regular beer, take the over without a doubt. One Coca-Cola, I take the over slightly. Half a salmon filet, I still take the over. One banana, I take the under. Not bad, man. 84%. I can live with it. We did this quiz already. Well, did I do better this time, though? Name that number sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. This is called squares. 2, 3, 5, 7. Those are prime. 1, 3, 5, 7. Nine, those are odd numbers. 1, 2, 6, 24, 127, 20. This is binary. <laughs> this is... This is it, 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 it's like... It's, I don't know this one, okay? I'm passing. This is... Fractions. This is like, you're, you're, it's one over one, one over two, one over three, one over four, one over five. This is one over five. This is one over, what is this? Reciprocals. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm not going to put it in though. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. Bro, can we just do the Fibonacci sequence? Okay, fine. That's what we're all here for. I give up. <laughs> Factorials, harmonics, powers of two. Fuck this. Who needs to know that shit? Hi, zoo animal. Where are you from? Pseudoscientific topics? That's me, dude. Any of several systems of understanding or interpreting knowledge of human existence based on the relative positions and movements of various celestial bodies? Astrology? He's cracked! Use of scientific methods and instrumentation in an unconventional manner to hunt spirits. Ghost hunting. Disappearances of ship and aircraft disasters perceived as frequent. It's the Bermuda Triangle. He's crazy. Refers to practices that enable detecting hidden water. What is divining? Now defunct theory for determining personality traits by feeling bumps on the skull. I know this one. Cr reflexology. It's craniology, oh, skullology, phrenology. It's so true, so true. Proposes our planet is disc shaped. Um, that would be flat Earth. Body of ideas invented by Sigmund Freud. What is the theory of personality? Freudian psychology. Psychological principles, <laughs> psychoanalysis. The search for creatures that are not considered to exist. Cryptozoology. Alternative medicine practice focused on spinal manipulation. Chiropractor. Nothing tilts me on um, r slash shit mom groups say. Like seeing a photo of someone bringing their one-year-old to the chiropractor, man. My, my baby has been complaining about having a fever, so we took her to the chiropractor. It's always a photo of somebody that's holding the baby like this and then like grabbing them on the spine. State of extreme relaxation. Hypnosis. What is cross-faded? Use of fine needles to stimulate certain points and balance the flow of key. Acupuncture. I know, like, I, listen, I don't want to get sidetracked here. You know, like, in a standard group insurance package, if you get benefits from your job, at least in Canada, you'll get access to, like, a masseuse. You'll get some money back on your massages. You'll get access to, um, you know, if you get injured, you'll get like long-term disability. You get some life insurance that comes with it. You get some acupuncture to come with it. I don't know how scientific that is. My mom had benefits that allowed her to see an osteopath. He made her walk 
down a hallway, turn around, and then come the other way. And he was like, oh, you have so much trauma in your colon right now. And I'm like, what are you talking about? The, 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 you didn't use like any instruments or anything. But like some osteopaths are covered. Some chiropractic care is covered. No, at least like as of like 10 years ago, therapy, you're on your own, brother. If you want someone to feel around like in your stomach for like repressed memories, they'll be like, yeah, sure. We'll give you, I don't know, 90 bucks off each appointment. Therapy, not, you're, that's, come on. That's optional, man. That's optional. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm running it back. Just running it back. Obviously, it's not about me because, I mean, <laughs> look where I'm working. We don't get benefits. That would be impractical. Sorry, wrenches. I'm sorry. Act of rising up from the ground without any physical aids. What is levitation? Geometric designs of crops in a field. Crop circles. Paranormal ability ESP. Instrument that records physiological responses. What is a lie detector test? Visual or auditory information discerned below the threshold of conscious awareness and has an effect on human behavior. What is the subconscious thought of mankind and such as? <laughs> Subliminal thought? Sublimic. Subliminal messaging. Yeah, okay. Paranormal ability of the mind to influence. That's tele telekinesis, Kyle. UFOlogy, yeah. Class of proposed machines that violate the laws of thermodynamics. Beyblades? Oh, just perpetual motion machine. Oh, yay. <laughs> Ancient Chinese system of mysticism and aesthetics based on astronomy, geography, and the putative flow of qi. What is Tai Chi? What is... What is Confucianism? What is... I don't know it. Qigong. I just wanted to, to fact check it. Feng Shui. Ritualized attempts to communicate with the dead. Seances. I give up. What is, what is it? Feng, it is Feng Shui. I thought Feng Shui was like, can you move the ottoman? It's throwing off the spirits in my, in my man cave. Subliminal perception, phrenology, psychoanalysis. National lab states? Little science ladders? Science via sporkle? Let's give it a try. Can you name the answers to information found in published science quizzes? A baby deer is called a fawn. A triangle with no congruent sides is called scalene. The shortest name of any element? Iron? <laughs> Tin? Doesn't get much shorter than that. The shortest wavelength? Gamma. Varieties of this creature include fire, bull, and leaf cutter. What is an ant? The most highly produced cereal crop? I'm going to guess it's rice. I'm going to guess it's wheat. I'm going to guess it's barley. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's grass. I'm going to guess it's corn. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. Group of kangaroos is called a joey -der. It's called a pod. It's called a group. It's called hanging out. It's called a lassie of joeys. A squad? Is it a squad? That'd be so good. This, dis this distance is equal to 3.26 light years. Parsec. This gas is most of our atmosphere. Nitrogen. The swan is the English name of this constellation. Birdus beautifulus. Ursus Majorum. I don't know. <laughs> the cranial nerve relating to the sense of smell. The olfactory. The largest known dwarf planet in our solar system. Uranus. I mean Neptune. I mean Mercury. I mean Venus. I mean Pluto. I mean... Betelgeuse. Planet X. Is it Planet X? Apparently, it's Ceres. 
the, this common animal scientific name is Sus domestica. Really? Sus domestica? When you're staying over at Apollo's house? I could not tell you. I have no idea. The planet on which you would weigh the least. Space. No, hold on. I'm thinking. I'm going to say it's... Mercury. I'm going to say it's Uranus. I'm going to say I already... No, I'm going to say it's Neptune. I'm going to say it's Saturn. It's, Earth probably is a good guess. Maybe Mars. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> really? The inventor of the rigid airship. That would be Hindenburg. That would be Zeppelin. My mistake. Ferdinand von Zeppelin dash Hindenburg. The largest two digit prime number? 97. The opposite of waning? Waxing. The SI unit for electrical resistance is an ampere, is a joule, is a watt, is a volt, is a. Galilometer is um, a hertz. It's <laughs> elect oh, resistance is ohm. I was just thinking of electricity in general. And then the Scoville scale. My mistake. I, I did know that one. I just, I, for some reason, the word resistance wasn't in my head. Anyway, I'm, I'm giving up, but I did get 80%. Although the planet ones feel like they really shouldn't count. I just, <laughs> I guessed all of them.